Hello and welcome to tonight's show. <laughs> So she took that baby to get a grandparent DNA test. Your results came back negative with a probability of 12%. So mama two times immediately put the news all over the internet. I can't believe you made a bond with a child. That ain't my son child. So that's what. Just got finessed one time by his goddamn girlfriend. She had that man fool, thinking that baby sincere was here the whole time. It was another man's child. Finessed two times mama, mama two times was babysitting the child one day, and she thought to herself, I don't believe it's my son's child. So she took that baby to get a grandparent DNA test. Them results came back negative with a probability of 12%. So mama two times immediately put the news all over the internet. I can't believe you made a bond with a child that ain't my son child. So that's when Finesse two times took a goddamn DNA with the baby and the results came back negative as well. Now I been knew that that dyke looking ass man for next two times couldn't have no goddamn kids, but the baby mama had that man fool. She finessed his dog game. Cause she finessed probably was cutting that goddamn check and she didn't want to downgrade her lifestyle. And her lame ass excuse was when she broke up with him for about two weeks cause she wanted to go out on her goddamn birthday. She went out there and slept with somebody, but she ain't know that this happened and she mad the way they did it. But young lady, for you to be smashing somebody bell wrong and letting them got them skeet off in you and you only knew them for less than two weeks, that's nasty work. And if that be the case, why you ain't just go to Walgreens, Walmart, CVS and get you a goddamn plan B or do like Lotto say, spend that 500 for you trap that man like that. If dodging a bullet was a person, it would be finesse two times. Finesse two-time mama saved him from child support and she spared him from taking care of another man's child for 18 years just to get to the 18 year and found out it wasn't his. I hope he ain't signed that birth certificate because if he did, she still could force that man to pay child support. Every father out there, listen up right now. I don't care if that child look like you. I don't care how long that child been around you. Go get a DNA test. You can test that baby mama while that baby still in the stomach. Don't go through that trauma, man, of raising a child so long and you find out later in life you done paid child support, you done done all that, and you can't do nothing because you ain't going to do a $300 goddamn DNA test, man. Don't let these raggedy ass broad trap you with that boo game. I don't care if people tell you, boy, that child look just like you. Don't you see people that know each other, but ain't got them no kin to each other. Be like, damn, boy, you look just like goddamn Maxwell. You look like LeBron James. Y'all ain't no kin. You broke LeBron rich. Think about what I'm saying. Don't let the people finesse your ass two times. Now, somebody need to tag Offset in the goddamn comments. Offset, that little light-skinned ass jit you just had from that ex dancer you might want to go out there and get a DNA test because you just might be getting finessed two times, my boy. I'm just going to get right into this. Finesse two times was about to get played. He was about to get played by a young, beautiful, sexy woman that probably didn't even give two dams about him. All she wanted that man to do was fund her lifestyle. It's sad we live in a world like this to where men can't find the woman that they want, that they can't find that happy ending that they want. You know how devastating it is for a man to find out that a child is not his? That is like the worst thing that a woman can do to a man. That's the lowest epitome that a woman can do to a man. 
it don't get no lower than that. For you to sit up there, open your legs to another man and let another man shoot up the whole club. And then you're going to sit up here and try to put the baby on this dude because he's financially stable. And you wasn't going to tell him. This is the problem. It needs to be a law implemented for this, this, this bullshit, man. How many times is the law going to keep letting these women get away with having sex with whoever they want to have sex with and putting the baby on someone else that is not the father? Man, that is not cool. That is not cool. You know, you are hurting this man mentally, physically, and emotionally. You are hurting this child emotionally. You are damaging two human beings for the simple fact for you doing what you want to do and you making the mistake that you are making. Damaging people for money. People out of their minds. These people, these these females have lost their goddamn minds. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sitting up here letting money rule y'all and predict how you guys are going to live the rest of your life. Don't you know God can take your life today or tomorrow? Don't you know that? And everybody trying to scam everybody and everybody trying to get to the bag? Come on, man. Y'all need to wake up, homie. It ain't even that serious to be out here using people, putting babies on men. Y'all got to wake up. And, and, and to these men, too. You know what I'm saying? Just because you see a pretty face don't mean she not in disguise as the devil. There are very smart women out here, man, that will play you weak-minded men as a flute. And y'all keep letting them do it over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the the guy with the flute. And he played, and then all the rats would follow. That's what these men do. And, they, and these women, they don't even have to say nothing. All they got to do is put on fake hair, fake nails, doll they sell stuff to look just super bad then they put these tight little clothes on and they flaunt and flaunt and flaunt and all of these men and boom just like that you get these suckers every time that's gonna catch the bait they catch the bait every time they they just oh look at that bitch she finding a motherfucker oh i got to have that oh what's your name and then worst thing they want to do is leave with their money Oh, I can use a girl like you. Yeah, baby, you fine. I got this. I got that. I, I got to do this. I do that. I got a house up on the hills here, there, and everywhere. Boom. Sucker. These women know when they got a sucker. Yeah. They going to give you the pussy anyway. They going to let you have sex with them anyway. They going to give you that regardless. They going to they gonna lie to you. They're going to manipulate you. They are going to tell you that, hey, I love you too. Yeah, we should be together. We should do this, that, and this, and we can have a family together. They don't care about having no kid with you because they know that that is financial security. They don't care if you're in that child's life. They don't care if you the father or not. If you fund in that situation and you sign in a birth certificate, which is a contract that I keep telling men to quit signing. You know what I'm saying? And then you get sued in civil court, a.k.a. family court. You're getting sued by the state. You're getting sued by your baby mama. The reason why you are getting sued is because you signed the contract. And you are supposed to follow the rules and the regulations of the contract that you signed. 
when you sign that contract and you do not hold up to your obligation of the contract, then that is why they come for you stupid men for money. You're sitting up here being with women that you hardly even know. You're sitting up here sleeping and having babies with women that don't even care about you. All they want to know is what can you do for them? How much money can you make for them? How much money can you, um, how much money can they use from you to fund their lifestyle? I don't know what's wrong with y'all men, man. You know what I'm saying? We all fall into the trap of wanting a beautiful woman. You know? And it's not a such thing as a beautiful woman out of your league. Let's get this clear. There is no woman that is out of your league. It's just that she's the type of person that's looking for the person that can take care of her financially. A person that she can use her beauty to her advantage so she can get where she needs to get to get to the top. It's plain and simple. You have some down to earth, beautiful women that don't want to choose to take those opportunities because a lot of those women are under the umbrella of God. But the women that are ungodly that are doing the things that they are doing, man, the sky's the limit. Look at the one chick that she got babies by three NFL players. She set for life. You know what I'm saying? And then in about 15, 20 years, if these guys don't be smart and if these guys don't get their lives together after their NFL football career is over, they're going to be sitting somewhere working at McDonald's or they're going to be at Walmart somewhere working or they're going to do something crazy to themselves and put themselves in harm's way and end up in jail or end up in a cemetery. It's not that serious, man. Having sex with a beautiful woman and then sitting up there and putting a baby in her is not the business. To you young men, listen to me. Before you decide you want to nut in these young, beautiful women, think about your life 18 years from now. Think about your life 18 to 25 years from now. And think about where you're going to be. And where you're going to be headed. It's fun now. It's fun now. Ha 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 ha. Gee 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 gee. Beating it up. Busting us all up in it. But then what's going to happen when. You find somebody else. Or she finds somebody else. And the fun is over. The fun is done. The fun is over with. Now what you going to do? She don't like you or you don't like her. Now you arguing, fighting, getting into it with each other, calling each other out their name, disrespecting one another. And then she got you in court for child support. But don't be like finesse two times. And have a baby with a woman that really probably didn't care about him. She can make up whatever story she wanted to. At the end of the day, the guy that got her pregnant, she knew him already. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. And they probably worked on this shit together. To finesse his dumb ass. To make him think that he was the father of that child. And by the grace of God, he is very lucky that his mother sensed that that was not his child. Because if his mother didn't sense that and she didn't let her spidey senses come into play, (laughs) it would have been all bad for him. All bad for him. Now, if he signed the birth certificate, it still could be all bad for him. Just like old boy said, but I knew about that already. But he's going to have to fight this. 
Now he's in an unnecessary fight that he did not want to put himself in. He thought she loved him. She thought she cared about him. He thought all these good things that it wasn't going to happen to him. Yeah, it happened to you. Just because you rap and you make a lot of money don't mean that she wants you. Yeah, she going to finesse you like she did. Yeah, she going to tell you all the things that she want to tell you. But in actuality, she don't want you. She didn't really want to be with you. If she really wanted to be with you, <clears throat> she wouldn't have did the thing that she did. And I guarantee you while you were sitting up there claiming her as your girl, I'm sure the, the real father was still hitting that on the down low. And they were just taking your money, finessing you. Oh, the baby need this. Oh, the baby need that. The baby got to have this. The baby got to have that. And you were just sitting up there just funding it all. Here you go. Here you go, baby. Here you go. Anything for my daughter. I'm going to take care of my daughter. You lucky. You got the mama that you got. You should be on your knees thanking your mama. You should be on your knees thanking God that you got an opportunity to get out of this situation. But that's all I'm going to say to this. All I'm saying is young men think. Think before you shoot up the club. <laughs> Just think. Think with your mind. Stop thinking with your penis, homie. This is your host with the most big bang and I'm out of here. All right. Peace. Double down.